So this next, next piece of technology, unfortunately, uh, completely overwhelms my uh, at-home technology here. Um, this is a game, a game called iWire, and it's not just a game. It is a way to actually help uh, scientific researchers to uh, map uh, what is called a connectome. And a connectome is uh, all of the connections between all of the neurons, uh, generally in a brain, but in this case, they're starting small, uh, literally small, and they're mapping the retina of a mouse. Uh, retinas are actually very much like uh, brains in their uh, connections between the neurons and such. So this is a, uh, a very interesting place to start. Um, as it says here, anyone can play, no need for scientific background. Um, basically, what we have um, is uh, a, a, a game where you're presented with uh, um, what, what looks like kind of a two-dimensional coloring book and your job is to uh, follow the, the neurons as they uh, um, um, branch and, uh, and move throughout, uh, throughout the, the brain. So basically what you're presented with is a little tiny cube of, uh, of, of brain material or of neuron material and, uh, and then that is sliced into super thin slices which are essentially two-dimensional and on the two-dimensional uh, representation you're coloring in the neurons. So, uh, and hopefully this will work for us. Uh, again, my, my processor is very slow. Um, so here's a video that shows how the game is, uh, is played. Uh, they obviously have a much more p powerful computer than I do. Uh, on the right side of the screen, you can see that there are uh, top scores, just like in a video game. And in the lower left side is a, uh, a chat room that's, uh, that's going on in real time as players uh, uh, look at the game. Um, and so what they're showing you on the, uh, on the left side of the screen is the cube which you can rotate around to look at uh, where the uh, three-dimensional neuron is. And on the right side is the very thin slices that make up that cube. And your job, as they're, uh, as they're indicating here, is to uh, look at the slices and color in by clicking where the neuron actually goes. And so uh, this, this helps the researchers to, uh, to map and uh, um, um, figure out what's going on in real brains in real time. So, uh, so this is this is an amazing, uh, a very amazing project. Um, I use it in my my psychology classes. It gives uh, students a way to uh, kind of get out of the lecture part of psychology and into uh, into something that uh, really gives them an indication of of how complex. Uh, how o overwhelmingly complex the uh, the brain and the nervous system can be. Uh, in terms of ISTE standards, um, in the teacher section, I think it uh, applies to uh, uh, standard three, three A in particular, create experiences for learners to make positive, socially responsible contributions that build relationships and community. Um, it, it certainly does that very, very well. Uh, facilitator create opportunities to challenge students to uh, use design and computational thinking to innovate and solve problems. Um, this is a way to help students uh, solve real life problems. And in the TPAC standards, we have CK2, uh, design and facilitate and implement uh, interdisciplinary uh, units of study. Again, we're getting out of the classroom in a very big way and uh, helping researchers in real life at iWire.org.